Hey YouTube, Desert Knife Guru. We're going to do some EDC blades for review today. Uh, what you see in front of you is three excellent EDC choices by Kershaw. You have the Kershaw Zing, Kershaw OD1, and the Kershaw Skyline. Excellent EDC choices. All three of these knives are about a $30 knife, I believe. The two knives that we're going to look at today you can purchase them for about half that. There's the Kershaw Chill and the Kershaw G10 Hawk. Now these two are $15 blades. Um, you can purchase these all over the web for about $15. So we're going to move these off and uh, go through these. Uh, both these knives were purchased at Big Five Sporting Goods. Um, I don't know if these are blades that were redone. You know, the MSRP is different. few features are different on them. Um, the MSRP on this one, as per Big Five, is going to be $59.99 for the chill which is totally different than what you can purchase the chill at on the Kershaw website. The MSRP is $29.95 on the Kershaw website. The model number is a little different. This one is going to be 3410 TS stands for Thumbstead and then B5 for Big Five Sporting Goods. Now this one's totally different also. Uh, this is the G10 Hawk. They're selling it retail $34.99. Um, you, can, you can check them out on the Kershaw website. $29.95. It's a little difference there. Um, this is the G10 Hawk number 1530B5 for Big Five Sporting Goods. So those are the boxes that they come in. Put those aside. We're going to look at the G10 Hawk first. This is a knife that I saw the uh, MSRP and I was like, oh, cool. But, oh, cool, you're looking at a 8CR13 MOV blade. It actually is razor sharp. These knives are made in China. I guess they, you know, use that steel to uh, bring that price point down. This is a blade three and one eighths of an inch. Great blade shape, super sharp point. It has a thumb stud, which is adjustable from side to side, only by um, removing it with a torque and switching it over. This is considered a more of a gentleman's folder, according to Kershaw. It has G10 slabs or handle scales on both sides. They've been milled out on this side. They've been milled out all the way through, even the steel liners, which reduces the, the weight. On the other side, it's been milled out it's hard to see the pocket clips in a way. Milled out through the G10, but not the steel liners. It has a tip up right hand carry only pocket clip. Pocket clip is held on by two torque screws, but it also has a piece that actually goes down into the actual milled part of the G10 handles. I guess for strength, that's an awful heavy duty clip for such a small lightweight knife. It's pretty much a pillar construction, except for a small polymer spacer down at the back end. It does have a thumb, um, thumb does have a uh, lanyard hole there. Super, super lightweight. Overall size on this one is going to be 7 inches. 
Now here's the problem right here. Has a thumb stud. Has a liner lock. If you have any good sized thumb, you can't get it in there without turning the knife sideways. It's not a easy one hand deployment blade. Either that or I'm totally way out there. But I mean all the knives I have should be able to deploy this blade. Just a poor design as for one hand deployment. They don't give you much of a notch there. Um, I mean, they're considering this more of a gentleman's folder. They should have put just a thumbnail notch there and get the same result. I mean, if it's going to take you two hands to open this, it's going to take you two hands to open it. So that's really the only thing I don't, I don't dig about this knife. Handle scales are all held on by torque screws. One point, see, can't do it. One point eight ounces. Whoops. Super lightweight. Okay, let's take a look at the other one. Now this is the chill. Thumb stud and flipper. There's the flipper and thumb stud. Thumb studs are not on the chills as of 2010 and I'm looking at the website as of 2011 and they don't have any thumb studs just a flipper so the, either this was older style or this was made for the big five sporting goods I'm not sure which but it is very easy to deploy either way it's kind of a uh, pyramid uh, shape for the thumb stud so it's very easy to deploy it's a three and one eighth inch blade of 8CR13 MOV steel. Um, like I said on the other one, you want to drop the price down. I guess you got to uh, get your steel from from China. That's the only thing I don't dig about this knife. But uh, everything else, I think it's a very nice EDC choice. Coming in at 7 inches overall, like its friend, the Hawk, it is 2 ounces. It has G10. Handle scales. Held on with torque screws. Very similar in design to the Hawk. The steel liners have been milled out to lighten the weight. It's very thin. And hardly hardly look in there to see that they've been milled out but you can see it good size EDC blade super lightweight I like that blade shape I really do very sharp point it is a liner lock good size lanyard hole a little larger than the hawk pocket clip the blade and the pocket clip are more of a stone wash or satin finish the pocket clip is either tip down right hand or tip up right hand just move it over excellent choice $15 EDC choice. Two ounces. This one also available in partially serrated.
trying to see if there's anything else I missed on this. Um, I would definitely recommend the Chill. $15 EDC blade. But as for the Hawk, um, if you want a gentleman's folder, you want to remove the pocket clip, put it inside your pocket. If you don't want to um, use it one hand deployment, excellent $15 choice. But as for one hand deployment, it's a, it's a mess. But as for the chill, it's excellent choice. Definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend it. I uh, foresee that it falls into my fav favorite Kershaw EDC blades. Really, really happy with that. But I guess with the 8CR 13M of We Steel, we will have to see on how it holds up. But any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again.